Welcome to Players Talk Business Podcast with your host, Darius Jackson, Kayvon Frazier. Shout out we work Preston Center, man, for this beautiful space. But boy, man, so much happened over the week, over the weekend, man. We had Adesanya beating Pereira after three losing three times, man. We got shit was nuts. We got OBJ to the Ravens. Ooh. With Lamar Jackson, we got man, we got the Mavs tanking, yeah. thinking we was about to, Dallas was about to go to the finals. That was tragic. Bro, we got we got Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia fight coming up. It's gonna be man, we got legendary. We got Bitcoin going crazy. I know my guy K's in Bitcoin. Yep. yep. I got man, we got so much going on, bro, and it's exciting. But you know, the most exciting thing is is really our guest today. You know, me and me and our guest, you know, we go way back, nine, ten years old. Sandbox. Man, what playing hey. against each other, bro? <laughs> really, really just competing. And uh, I will say, the first time I ever got chopped in the legs, <laughs> I, the first time I ever got chopped in the legs, bro, was a playoff game versus my guy, and I was going down the sideline, and I was ready for this collision. Boy, I was ready for this collision. That's back when you had the neck roll. The neck roll. Hey, look. <laughs> I know you didn't wear a neck roll. No, I did. Still, I did. Still, I still, never still, seen a light no, skin man with a neck was, roll. He, that nigga was stiff out there. <laughs> 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 Boy, you know you oh, no, he, he about to get on my ass real quick, but no, I swear I was ready for this collision, bro, and, and all I know is he shot right for the low hip, bro, I was in the air about an hour, bro, I was thinking about everything, I was like, damn, I ain't never got tackled like this before, <laughs> but man, this is a Texas legend, man, this is a Texas legend, we got Devontae Harris in the house, man. Hey, man, I'm glad you guys had me, bro. Bro, it's, 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 it's a pleasure to have you, bro, it's a pleasure to have you, but, but yeah, bro, I mean... Honest to God, I still think about that play today because I, I came back later and, and I heard with your ass, but y'all still yeah. won the game. That bro. was in the playoffs, wasn't it? It was in the yeah, playoffs, y'all. Playoffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, but I mean, just just honestly, bro, like us us playing as kids in that league and, and making it to the league. Right. And honestly, one of, you know, 2018 was – it was a big year for both of us, right? Right, absolutely. And being able to play against each other yeah. and do that jersey swap, swap bro, that shit was did. so – Hard. Legendary, bro. It's a long time coming, too, bro. For sure. Long time coming, man. Uh, You know, I, I enjoyed them battles coming up, bro. Which, it was cool. Yeah, yeah. It was cool. And, and 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 not even football battles, bro. We was hooping. Yeah. 21. Everything. Man, y'all know y'all ain't got no hoopers in Dallas like man, you that. Crazy. <laughs> K-Bon, you crazy. K-Bon, swear you can bro, I'm, you cra- you I'm from hoop. Michigan. I'm from Michigan. Y'all know we got hoopers in Michigan. Y'all know we got hoopers in Michigan. He can kind of he can kind of hoop. Talk about me being stiff in the neck roll. He's stiff on the court, boy. I swear. (laughs) Yeah, you know I got some shit on the court. He know I got some. He know I got some shit on the court. Can't handle that rock though. I ain't gonna lie. He a nice point guard though. Can can I handle the rock? That's you can handle the rock. You can. But you just do it at like 110 miles an hour, bro. Right. It's so like you slow your ass down. Like a football player. Exactly. No, <laughs> exactly, bro. No, but I look like a hooper hooping. It's not like you know, you know how football players yeah. hooping sometimes. Yeah. yeah, you know they, you, you know they a football player. Yeah, so Me, you got it's not finesse. like yeah, 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 it's a little different. I had to see that man. He like LA Fitness up. Oh, we gonna get it, bro. Yeah. But but no, bro. Uh, hey, side note. Yeah, I seen it on your story today or this morning. Mm-hmm. You getting married on the 21st? I'm getting married on the 21st, Bro, I'm man. getting married on the 21st. Bro, uh, 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 July. July. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Where y'all wedding going to be at? Same anniversary. So man. it's going to be actually in Cincinnati. It's her hometown. So okay. since she moved down here, I said we can have a wedding back in your hometown. in Dallas? Okay. It's in Valley View, right outside of Denton. Right okay. outside of Denton, okay. Texas. So yep. it's about an hour away, bro. Oh, that's uh, what's man, up. Man, congratulations yeah. to both of y'all. Man, but thank yeah, you. Yeah, 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 congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You're my that's high school time. sweetheart, man. Uh, hey. You know, we've been on and off since I've been 15, fam. You so, was kids, man. Kids, bro. So, you know, it, it was good to see our love grow. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then get two kids out the deal. Mm-hmm. Man, I got I got some little dogs, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, two boys? Two boys, baby. Okay, yeah. Two yeah, yeah. boys, man. I'm doing man. it right. Every you done day. or what? No, hell no. I need five. You need five. Hey, that's what, he, that's what you said. I told his head. But I got three girls, though, so it's different. Ooh, boy, <laughs> stress. Boy, yeah, you stress. Yeah. You yeah. stress. Go, you're going great early, for sure. But, yeah, hey, probably. You're going great early, for yeah. sure, man. It, yeah. It's, it's, it's you don't want to hear it. It's a, lot of, it's, a, it's a lot of arguments. So you it's are you starting to see their little different personalities? Oh, 100%. 100%. So I got a four-year-old, a two-year-old. You know, oh, yeah. my four and the two, you see, like, yeah. it's, it's real obvious what they, you know what I'm saying, what they good at. Right. Uh, what they natural skills are and stuff right. like that. Yeah. But and then I got a two week year old. Or Ooh, two man. week two two week old. Yeah. Man, yeah, I got a two week old. Yeah, yeah, for real. For real. Thank you. Yeah, it's a blessing. 
Man, but you know, it's crazy we get into that age. You know, we all get married, we starting our families. Uh but how was it, Tay, how was it so your dad went to Texas A and M. Yep. And he also played pro ball. Right. Yep. How was it growing up with because we we're that person now. Right. Yeah. We're that yeah. person that made it and now we got how was it growing up with a parent that already made it? Like what how did that affect you? What did and it, it showed me that work ethic side of it, of what you had to do to get there, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he had me out there running 16 110s, 860s, 640s, yep. two gases, shit like that. Like So just seeing that work ethic side of it and then me able to put on his highlight tape, bro, like that kind of fine-tuned me to like, okay, I need to mm-hmm. get there. Yep. I need to get there, bro. And mind you, bro, like, you know, we struggled, though. Know, cause he, he he was playing ball back, you know, back in the gap where the signing bonus is is, is seventeen hundred dollars. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but but yeah. bro, he he made it, he always made it happen, bro. Like and even after football, bro, my daddy always worked his ass off. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So yep. that thing, that 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 drive, bro, it it it, it left a print on me, fam. Saying and, and my mom too, she was a hell of an athlete, bro. She ran at Texas Southern. She ran track, yeah. Bro. She ran track yeah. at Texas Southern. Pretty damn good athlete, bro. So yep. you know, just having that work ethic in the household, bro, it kind of had me. You know, I'm bleeding this shit over to my kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you want anything, son, you are gonna work for it. And, yep. You know what I'm saying? And was your parents together? Oh yeah, thirty yeah. years, thirty three years actually, like three days ago. See, that's a blessing, bro. Yeah, man, that's a blessing because we talk about uh, we talk about father figures a lot. We talk about. Uh, two parent households and yeah. how it's different than a one parent household. Absolutely. What's your take on that, man? Absolutely, bro. It's different, bro. You get both sides of the same coin, fam. Like so, you get that emotional support from your mom. You get that emotional intelligence from your mom, but you also get resolve from your dad. Like you know what right, I'm saying? He right. kind of see the world a different way than your mom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He more practical. Like my yeah. dad is more real with it when it comes to like I'm I'm my mom's baby. I'm gonna always be my mom's baby. And it's the same thing with my kids. Yeah. But with my sons, hey, bro, like. Touch that stove, you gonna burn yourself like straight like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He gave me the raw facts of life, bro. And either you gonna work hard and you gonna be you gonna work hard and be great, or you gonna bullshit and be a bum. That's what life about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And my mom, of of course, she gonna support her baby, regardless. You know what I'm saying? Right. But just having both of them, both of that support, bro, and you blending that shit together, bro, is you giving your child a. Uh, a better way to success, I can say, if you got a yeah. two parent household, not only with the two incomes, but for sure, you got, you got support, bro. Like 100%, you got support, yeah. and they both they not missing no games, right? They not right, missing yep. no no. no somebody, there. Somebody, somebody there, there. Yeah. somebody there, somebody yep. there, bro. Uh, and that's and that's what got me now. Like I ain't never losing. I ain't gonna never mess up what I got going at home, bro. You know what I'm saying? I love my baby girl, bro, and she been there with me from ups and the downs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so I see our relationship in our parents. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. See, and that's a dope perspective because a lot of people like me, for instance, you know, I grew up with, you know, a single mom. Yeah. So I never really got to see like that true love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Of two people that's really, really loving each other growing up. Right. My mom never got remarried after that. You know what I mean? So yep. it was literally just my mom and me and my sister. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was. And that was the whole was and, and that was it, you, you know, and that's all I do. You get a different type of strength from that, too, though. Yeah, you get a different type of strength, but, like, I still, sometimes I still struggle uh, in different situations, like, how to navigate through it, because I've never seen, i never seen, like, love. You, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, I've yeah, hell seen, yeah, 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 hell yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, but also, I see what not to do. Yeah. You know, yeah, I see yeah, what yeah. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You yeah. know, and I see the differences as well, too, and that's the dopest part, yeah. 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 Absolutely. And I love seeing, yeah. I love seeing, uh, you love seeing parents together because it just brings a different, you know, when we go to Pierce's house back in the day, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. so cool seeing the dynamic between his parents and your parents and Absolutely. my parents. Absolutely. And then them interact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. it's just different than when you have a single parent and, and a single kid. They they are different, for real. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Hell yeah. But, uh, you know, my dad was the same way. My parents, you know, my mom nurtured me, yada, yeah. yada. But my dad was always hard on oh, me, He bro. was on your ass. I know he was. Always <laughs> on me, bro. And he would take me to so many different leagues, bro. Yeah. I mean, I played in so many different leagues because he wanted me to get exposure, bro. You played select. You played select back in the day. Yes, bro. Uh, he yeah. took me, bro, he took me to a <laughs> – y'all ever played in a football tournament? Yeah. It's a Texas thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you haven't, Kayvon. You ain't. In bro, Garland. we we they played in. I grew up in Michigan. In Michigan. Bro, I mean. It was like basketball, Detroit. bro. Detroit was the only city yeah. that traveled out and played in tournaments and stuff like that. 
But other than that, like nobody else in Michigan traveled around and played football. We traveled around and yeah. played basketball. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Oh, we yeah, played yeah, a lot too. of we played a lot of basketball. So, Actually, too, you were kind of cold at basketball. I was okay, man. That was a nice little point. Yeah, that was a nice little point, man. Yeah. I was not, I just stopped growing, bro. My freshman year in high school, I was five two ninety two yeah. pounds, bro. My daddy set me down like, hey, <laughs> this what the fuck you want to do? This <laughs> is what it is. Hey, oh, select dude. is that seven oh seven? Is it seven? Is, is select, it seven oh seven? So they got, it's yeah. like a, no, uh, they got spring. So back in the day, now it's seven on seven. So back okay. in the day, yeah. they had teams like Texas Raiders. You know what I'm saying? The like, Raiders and uh. I, I can't remember who I played for, but these were like all star teams yeah, for the yeah, tournament. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you go get the best player, best of the best throughout yep. the whole city, and we do that now. Actually, that's what we. That's the spring league we in now out there. That shit in Mansfield though. That shit far. Y'all away. playing in full pads though? Uh, nah, hell no. Nah. So I, that's I, what I I'm saying. Flag. The I times, the times change though. They ain't nah, doing oh, that. Nah, we, so I eight oh, okay. you and ten you. We playing a full uh full flag. I mean uh full pads. Oh, yeah. you full pa- tournament? Yeah. They still got that? No, nah, no tournaments though. No, nah, you get that's what I'm saying. You get you get one game a day. No, ain't they ain't doing. It like that. So we play three a day. Yeah. You play in the yeah. morning, yeah. the afternoon, and then you get a about a five hour gap. You play like not eight yeah. thirty at night, nine at night. All day event. All so, day, bro. So how old is your is your kids? So I got a four year old and I got a one year old on the on April sixth. He just turned one. Oh wow! You know and you coach? Wait, are you coaching yo? I'm coaching my son, yeah. So yeah, your son, four cool. years old, and he's playing? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's playing, <laughs> he playing for a whole year. He, he started playing when he was three. Okay, I ain't okay. bullshitting. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get him out there. You got to get him out there. Cause, man, I think that's the safest way, bro, like to get your kid to know how to play the game, bro. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's yeah. why, I'm not going to lie to you, I went to Mesquite because I, I stay in Forney. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. that league out there, they practice it one time a week. Two times a week, and can't nobody get shit done like that, bro. Yeah. You can't, you can't teach the basis of the game or how to. Even though he on flag, he still got to learn. A, you know, he got to learn the right way to do do shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it, yeah, it, it's what you what they instill in you. Yeah. Like when I went to Mesquite, I went from Garland, and my first year in football scored like 44 touchdowns oh, and yeah. did all. And my dad was like, oh, it's time to go to Mesquite. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like I graduated and yeah. it was time to go. To, and when I went to Mesquite, bro, like. Uh, you had some it, players over there. It, it, it wasn't not, not only the players, but the coaches was different, bro. Yeah. And I ain't going to lie. I still remember to this day, 6 o'clock, heading on the highway to go practice. I, I couldn't stand it. stand it, man. But, boy, how it shaped me was unbelievable. I had amazing relationships. Uh practice was hard as hell and i hated it but at the same time it's done so much for me bro i'm disciplined you know you play for a good ass organization too the jags the they jags was, yeah. we was a, no we was elite for real yeah yeah i was elite we was elite. and we and and some you know the mesquite jaguars it was like it was like uh no matter what we gonna hit you who else big came out of the jags bro trayvon boykin trayvon boykin came yeah. out uh joe bergeron went to texas yep. um Man, uh, we had twins that were two years younger than me. They're playing in Michigan. I think they just finished oh, up. Jermaine. Yep. Jermaine. Yeah. 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 He yeah. trained over at the gym. Oh, yeah. for real? Yeah. Small world, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, no, the Jags was deep. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and yeah. even yeah. Rashard Higgins, he came from the uh, – what organization he come from? Rashard Higgins played for the Hawks. The Hawks. He played for the Hawks. Jakeen Grant played for the Hawks. Yeah. yeah. Taylor, Jakeen, Taylor yeah. Gabriel played for the Blue Warriors. The Blue Warriors was weak, though. Oh, uh, they was weak. <laughs> <laughs> was, easy, easy. But, but, but the best part about it was, bro, all the, everyone came from this league. Yeah. yeah. And this yeah. league was super, super competitive. Yeah. And it taught me a lot, bro. Like it really did. And uh and I think that's that's kind of how we were shaped. Yeah. And, and uh so you know, making it to the league, bro, it turns into a business. Yeah. It turns into a business. Absolutely. And that's why and that's why the way we were brought up was important because it just kept us to keep going no matter what, you know, no matter what kind of adversity. So how you feel like how you feel like your career uh, shaped up? Were you happy with it? The expectations you set, the ex- you know what I'm saying? Like how, how you feel about how it went in your NFL career? I can say this, man. I thought it was something that it was when I got there. And mind you, it changed my life, it changed my life for the for the better, 100 mm-hmm. percent for the better, man. I got a head start in life. I. I once I left, I, I looked at it as a head start, bro. But in all honesty, me personally, bro, I fell out of love with the game. You know what I'm saying? Going yeah. through that politic bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I had my problems in New Orleans, but when I went to Tampa and I actually balled and they still ain't put a nigga on the field, I was like, oh, no. Nah. And I went, yeah, mind you. was balling, too. Yeah, yeah. man, but I, I was playing behind Brent Grimes, though. Yeah. yeah. So, you yeah. know, yeah. it yeah. is what it is, bro. Um, But I'm not going to lie to you. Like, that shit helped shape me. 
business now. Like, we looking at that shit in a cutthroat manner. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's all business. And I think if I would have went in like that instead of, instead of being so emotionally attached to the game, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have got out so early. You know what I'm saying? Four yeah. years, I got my pension. That's cool. You got your pension. You know what I'm saying? I got my pension. That's cool. But I could have played longer, bro. For I sure. could have played longer. But it ain't no sour blood, no none of that, because I fell out of love with it, bro. I didn't fall back in love with it until like two years ago. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Just seeing my son play. You know what I'm saying? But – and getting back to the basics. And getting back to the basics, bro. Like once you start doing it for money, it changed. You know, yeah. mentality wise, it changed yeah. for me. You know what I'm saying? It did. It did. It yeah. did. But, 100%, yeah. But I, I loved it, bro. I love my experiences, man. Yeah. I love the friends I met along the way, bro. I love the money I made, obviously. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I got yeah. to play in a playoff game. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So pretty cool, bro. I I and I, I got a lot of wisdom now that I can pour back into the kids, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And uh, it, it's going to be hard for a nigga to tell me something about ball. Yeah. You know, I done been on that level, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I done been on, I been on the highest level. The pinnacle, bro. Yeah, man, and I done played, you know what I'm saying? I got stars. I, I got stats type you do. shit. And, you know, it is what it is, but I know uh, talking to my son, man, I'm going to just give him the real love, bro. It's a business. Mm -hmm. Emotionally detached from that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That shit a business. You show up to work, you show up to work. You don't show mm -hmm. up to bullshit. You're going to have your friends. But at the, at the end of the day, bro, I only talk to, out of all the people I play with, like, I got two people in my wedding that I play in the NFL with. You That's know what I'm saying? Right. You, you got to, you got to, you know, everybody ain't your friends. Shit like that, right, bro, you right. know. And But as far as having fun, though, oh, that shit was live. Yeah. Motherfucker. That shit was live. Bro. Uh, How was the transition after? Like, you know what I mean? Because I know... I know is I mean that's that's one thing that we trying to bring you know a lot of light on yeah. or put emphasis on is the transition after ball and how people don't really talk about it you know what I mean and people don't really talk about the struggles that that athletes go through after they are forced to leave or yeah. or having to walk away from the game through injury or got kicked out of the league or stuff right. like that how was the transition for you man it, it's mine was a little different bro so I started my business bro while I was playing at the end, at the tail yep. end of it, to mm -hmm. make that transition as easy yep. as possible. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But that shit put a lot of pressure, like, on now you got to make this work. You got a lifestyle. You done played in the league. You got these bills, fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now I got to pick a business that's going to pay my bills. Um, yep. yep. And, I mean, man, you just got to be strong, bro. It was hard. Mm -hmm. It was hard, bro. You know, and my pops made that tr transition years ago, so he yeah. warned me about it, like, fam, this gonna be hard bro yeah so you uh, had somebody telling you yeah it's gonna be hard oh, bro dope. like that's you dope. know it, it, it is what it is but you're it's gonna be hard to make that same money again and whatever you do you know what yeah. i'm saying it mm -hmm. is but mm -hmm. i think i was i was prepared for it bro i'm not gonna lie to you i was pretty prepared yeah. for it just because i had the background on it and i knew that i needed to create a business or multiple businesses that's gonna supplement this income yeah you know and, and when did you know you was an entrepreneur you know what I mean? Because, like, everybody, like, I mean, everybody not entrepreneurs. You know what I mean? Like, an entrepreneur is somebody that can go and start a business from scratch yeah. and run it and build it up, sell it, or do or do whatever, whatever you have to do. But it's tough to be an entrepreneur. I mean, it's all on you. You know, Hell, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. When did you know you was an entrepreneur and you wasn't going to go back to that, you know, working for somebody's life? After the first time I got cut, bro, like, I wouldn't say I knew I was an entrepreneur, but I did say, like, I knew I had to get into a business where I can work for myself and not rely on a motherfucker calling me up to his office and be like, we got to we gotta cut you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, that's just kind of forced me into it, bro. Like, I wouldn't even say, like, I'm a hustler, bro, more than an entrepreneur. So I go, I go do anything. N not anything. Let me, let, me, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me keep that gangster. Not yeah. anything, bro, but... Um, when shit hit the fan, bro, uh, I just know that I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that pushed me into that entrepreneurial mindset, if you will. Um, I knew that playing ball, bro, you got somebody that's signing your checks. You mm -hmm. know, I want to yep. be able to sign my own checks, and I want that now. Right, like, right. That's yep. why I started my shit so early. Like I started my shit in the league. Didn't tell nobody about it, but I started my shit in the league because I want that now. And once I figure out that I didn't want that bullshit hanging over my head, which is after the first time I got cut, that's kind of 
push me into that, push mm-hmm. me into that lane type 100%, shit. 100%. Yeah. And, and you always been, you always been kind of the man of the people. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? So, people, like, man. your first business, what, I mean, what was it House of Heroes? House, uh, and my second business. That was my, your second. My gym was my first Your business. gym was your first business. Because yeah. you've, you've always been kind of, like, in the business of servicing people. Yeah, I feel like yeah, you, absolutely. you love being social. You love yeah. giving back to the community. Yeah. So, talk about the process of, you know, opening up the gym and then going into, like, the restaurant entertainment. Yeah, and that's dope because we both is in the gym industry. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Dope. We was talking about it a, a little bit before we started the episode. Right. But I definitely want to touch on that. You know what I'm saying? And what you... You know, think about the gym industry and, you know what I'm saying? Man, I, I'm not a fan <laughs> of the gym industry, for real. Like, you know, um, it, it was pretty cool with me, cool for me, because the guy who trained me during the off-seasons came to me with a business idea with the gym. You know what I'm saying? Guy by the, the name same of dude Dennis, still with you? Dennis Conner, yep. yep. Uh-huh. Okay. Dennis Conner, man. So he trained me in the off-season, and he was like, man, I got something that I'm, I'm trying to do. I got a space for it. Uh, you got anybody who want to invest? I said, shit, I want to invest. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And so that was that was pretty cool. Um, we got the turf. We got a lot, uh, a lot of the things got that built out. But as far as getting me into that restaurant mode, bro, I just wanted a everyday income. Yeah, you know, with the gym, and the gym and ain't gonna provide. Nah, yeah. not not every day. Yeah, you know nah, what I'm it's too up and down. Yeah, it's, it's too up and down. down. Bro, I mean, you're gonna lose money a yeah. couple. A few months out of the year, Absolutely. you know, August, September, right. October, even November, maybe. We, I mean, ours is a little bit different because, you know, we we got adult fitness, yeah. youth, we got MLB, NFL, so yeah, y'all got and, then, offer. and then okay. I got the medical too. So if my gym is down, my medical can pick it up, you know, so it can even out. If yeah. both down, then it's a oh, double it's, oh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 whammy, but, but usually both not going to be down. Usually one is going to be up depending on the season. The other one is going to be down. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it evens out a little bit. But, I mean, those three months, you know, in the fall is rough. Uh, man, they rough, yeah. man. They rough, they rough man. Yeah. They rough, bro. I just, I wanted something, bro, that everybody drink, bro. You know what I'm saying? I everybody. want something that I can service everybody. Yep. Everybody mm-hmm. drink, bro. Yep. Uh, Amer- I ain't going to say everybody, but America drink, fam. So you can, it, it can be cold outside. It can be raining outside. Somebody going to come in that thing for a shot of tequila or yeah. Make a low boat or some shit like that. You're gonna have business. You're gonna have something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just wanna be positive daily, bro. I wanna make a little bit every day. You yep. know what I'm saying? That shit add up, bro. It did it's it your, it's your pace too. I mean I, I mean restaurants are fast business. Yeah. Especially like a yeah. bar where you was at. Yeah, that was the bar. Yeah, it's that a fast wild. yeah, that yeah. Wild. I'm a, I remember I popped in once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was wild. That was wild. <laughs> I was in the corner like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was he, was on, he was on the bar. T- <laughs> he was trying to <laughs> turn it up on the bar I'm in the corner, like, <laughs> yo, it wasn't even a restaurant. You had oh, that was a, oh, that was it was a club, bro. Yeah. That was yeah. a, a club <laughs> restaurant. Yeah. Brunch, all mixed in one, bro. That lunch, shit. Yeah. dinner, brunch, whatever y'all had. Everything. In See, there. my new one ain't gonna be on that vibe though. I was about to say they require too much energy. Uh, to maintain. It's, nah, it's just too stressful, bro. Cause yeah. you never know, like, cause when something gonna pop off, you off. never know when stuff gonna yeah. pop yeah. off. You can't, yeah. you yeah. can't control shit that's outside of your business, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we was having shootings across the street. Yeah, I was gonna ask you that. Like, what ultimately came to the to the? Cause I know you had to close it. Yeah, I had to close know? it. So after how many years, and what came to that decision? So after two years, the well, after two years, the first one had to close, bro. They just uh, the city kept trying to bleed me money, bleed money out of me, bro. I was the only black owned business down there, bro, and we wasn't doing the best as far as like our image. You know what right. I'm saying? Just keeping right. it a buck. Right. So city just come by. Oh, you need to fix sprinklers, hundred twelve thousand dollars. Oh, you need the new plumbing. $65,000. So they just kind of started to bleed me. Mm-hmm. And I cut my losses and got up out of there, bro. Yeah. That's really what it was. And then that that uh that one I tried to open over there on Riverfront, we had to shoot the first day, three hours in, bro. One of my security, um, one of my security, bro, he hit he hit a guy, you know what I'm saying, for trying to bum rush the door. Mm-hmm. Shit, he went to the car, got his gun, boom, shot up the whole spot. Oh, boom, my boom. God, bro. Shot one of my bartenders. Uh, Damn, were you in there when that, when that shit yeah, was Yeah, man, going? I was oh, in there. My uh, wife was in there. My mama was in there. My dad was in there. So what's the story behind it? Like, 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 like <laughs> tell the play-by-play. All right, play-by-play, play, so. It was you doing at the moment. Okay, like, so. What's ooh, going yeah, on? Yeah, uh, yeah, this is wild, yeah, bro. Yeah, it was wild. So, so. You we, said that real casual. Yeah, bro, it was. It was. But I, I feel it. Like, that's a. Yeah, it was real. I'm not going to hold you. And it was an AR, AR pistol he shot that bitch up with. So the dude. 
Well, we're gonna we're gonna take it play by play. All right, all right, all right. So, um, I'm in the back, bro. We got the section set up in the back with my family, bro. My auntie come get me, bro, screaming like. Tay Tay, come on. You know, they call me Tay Tay back in the day. <laughs> Tay Tay, come on. Uh, so I'm going up to the front, fam. It's it's a guy. Um, it's a guy arguing with my security, fam. And he backing up. Mind you, I'm I I'm licensed to carry, bro. So you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm putting my shit on my shit. And he backing up like he got something on him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he go to a red challenger, bro. And he like looking behind the seat. I guess the gun that he had wasn't big enough for him. I don't know, but he looking behind the seat. Boom, 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 boom. And it's a skinny uh, black girl kind of, like, blocking the view. Yeah. And she, like, she know what he doing. We all know what he doing. Yeah. He pulled that bitch out, bro. My daddy, I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, bro, on my, on my sons, bro. My daddy grabbed me. And I had I had a little party on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. daddy grabbed me, bro. Uh, uh, and took me in that bitch. One of our security guards locked the front door. You know what I'm saying? Because he knew it was finna go down. Yeah. So, and I'm, I'm seeing his back half on camera when the police came. My aunt's a police officer, so she being a hundred with me. You know what I'm saying? Police came, they they went over our footage. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker grabbed an AR pistol, bro. Tried to open the door, but couldn't open the door because that bitch was locked. Mm-hmm. Sprayed that whole bitch. Bop, 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 bop. Bro. Shits go through there, bro. It's me. My my wife, soon to be wife, is in the back, still in the back of the section with her family. Her mom is there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm by my dad and my mom, so we hit the ground. Boom. And it just got ugly, bro. It just got ugly. So we. Our people start busting back, you know what I'm saying? Thankfully, nobody on their side was hit. They was, but, you know, thankfully it wasn't life-threatening. Right, right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Um, and shit, it was, just a, it was just an exchange that bled out into the parking lot. Our security ended up chasing them down, chasing them away. And they got up out of there. Uh, they got arrested for it, though. I was about to say they ever. Yeah, they got arrested. Damn, yeah, bro. they got arrested Is for it. Is it still, like... Damn. Beef do that? Like, nah, you know we didn't even they, they wouldn't su- even know. Supposedly yeah. they were from Shreveport, bro. Okay. You know okay, what I'm saying? Yeah. I we didn't nobody yeah. even knew them. Like it was random. They just yeah. Yeah, it was just random. And I think he was probably on them pills or something, fam. I ain't gonna hold he you. Was he, shit, yeah. he was on some shit. He was on some shit, bro. And my partner, I mean my well, my security punched him. Mm-hmm. Shit, he and wanted no. his lick back and that's what it was. I you got you. And then after that the city wouldn't let us over. And yeah. that was and so that was two, what, two years ago? That was two years ago. And so you about to jump back in the business, but you know. Oh, yeah, straight restaurant vibes, though. And it's going to be a mesquite. You know oh, that's saying? what's up, yeah, bro. Yeah, and it's going to so, be a mesquite. So restaurant is your Yeah, niche. that's me. That's yeah. me. I love it's it, you. bro. It's yeah. faster money. It's good money, bro. Um, And then I didn't, I ain't going to lie to Harris House of Heroes, bro. I didn't learn so much from that shit. I know, I know what not to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As long as I keep it. Keep it family oriented. We we going for that Boomer Jack Sports City vibe, you know. What yeah. I'm saying? So that's the vibe, bro. Boomer Jacks be popping. Be popping. Food ain't even that good. I ain't never be been there. I don't even. It don't even look good. Bro, they be it's horrible. <laughs> they don't got no bread on their wings. I need to plug you with. Uh, man, I got a dude. He young dude. He young dude. He still got a lot to learn too. But he probably he, he probably was gonna watch this shit too. But it don't matter. But yeah, yeah. A, a, a young dude who owned a restaurant up in Salina. Okay. A little. Uh, what is it? A, a breakfast joint? Oh, you know, but he trying, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he trying to he trying to open up, you know, a couple other things. Oh, yeah, I need yeah, to plug you well, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, I mean, I sharing cool young bro. dude, but you know, up that way, like man, that's 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 a hidden gem. Yeah, it I is. Mean, shit, we live. I mean, I live in Prosper, Salina. Well, I live in Salina area. You know what I'm like? Yeah, yeah, Salina. I know. Yeah, uh huh. Bro, have you been up there lately? No, nah, I haven't. I ain't been to Prosper since I've been to Chris Harris' house out there. He live out there. I yeah, think. he do. He yeah. do. His, his, you know his daughters go to the same school as me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. what's up. Bro, when the last time you been out there? I was playing, bro. So like 2018. Bro. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> bro, yeah. Oh, I mean, to, you really had no reason to go up there. I nah, mean. I only went out there, man. Yeah. Cause me and Justin Hardy, man. Uh, me and Justin Hardy. He stay up there? Nah, it was Justin training Hardy. with. Uh, yeah, he was staying with, with real. He was training with real. Yeah, yeah. So he Crazy, came yeah. down, but he was staying with me though. <laughs> oh, you that's know what what's I'm up. So uh, yeah. yeah, we just you know we shot out there because him and uh him and Krista Bros, you know what I'm saying? They cues. So we oh, I got you. There. Yeah, and I had no he problem. Hardy's still playing. Yeah, he's still, he's still playing. playing. He's Just still now, balling too. Got, yeah, he got Pro Bowl too. season. He's yeah, he balling, bro. He's bro, balling. his speed, bro. He's been fast since day like, one. Him and CJ, him and CJ is like they be 32, 33, still running like that, bro. Yeah, he crazy. Liked it. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, her, yeah, hard. He he got a nose for that shit. No, you know what? It is a gift too. By the way, yeah, it is. I feel like special teams is a, shit. Just, yeah, shit, shit just come to you. bro. I swear, shit just came to UK. You so <laughs> you had a gift, a gift, bro. It's a gift until you get a taste of that defense. 
Yeah. As soon as you, you get a taste that, of yeah, defense, you're like, man, <laughs> why am I running 100 miles per hour to go hit this dude yeah. when I can just go play defense, bro? Like, I, I literally, like, bro, and I would say this to anybody, like, special teams, you you fuck up your body more. Oh, absolutely, bro. You fuck up your body more absolutely. with special teams. You know, because, yeah. bro, imagine sitting out, and sometimes, bro, we playing in the cold. Imagine sitting out the game. Whole you know, game. damn near the whole game, you got to run in on punt, and I got to go beat a double team and run mm. full speed. Hamstrings you know, on fire. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. like for real. And then, like, you got to not only run full speed when the punter catching the ball. I got to stop in front of him. You know, basically come to a D cell, make the tackle, and make the tackle. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, yep. bro. That's that's the first the first time I had my major injury was versus the Saints, and I tore my pec. But it was special teams. Yep. Man, yeah, yeah. That's so gruesome. It's crazy, crazy, bro. That's that's crazy, crazy, bro. I went fast. <laughs> 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 so, so what? What about? What about football, right? You know, we're talking about business and stuff like that. What about football? What qualities and characteristics did you take out from being a playing at the highest level and applying them to business? Consistency. Consistency, bro. Uh, the thing that you do the most, you're the best at. You know what I'm saying? And that goes with business as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, fam, adapting. Mm-hmm. Adapting, cause we had all that shit go down with HHH, bro, and we should have honestly been closed six months in. All the bullshit we went through, it was just adapting, bro. Like, okay, every day ain't gonna be perfect, bro. You gonna have a new challenge, you know. It's mm-hmm. just like football, fam. You gonna have a new challenge. Like I played corner, bro. It don't every day that you wake up, fam, and you do one on ones, bro. This motherfucker across you might get you, you know what I'm saying? But what 100%. you gonna do? Like, what you gonna do though? You know 100%. what I'm saying? You gonna yeah. fold? You gonna you gonna still talk your shit? Uh, yeah. and just. Just being in perseverance, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? With business, bro, you're going to have ups and you're going to have downs. And a lot of people, bro, they can't stay consistent for long, fam. And they can't keep at what the fuck they want to do. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. And that's that's what makes the greats the greats. That's what make a pro a pro, bro. Mm-hmm. He sit up, he pray. Everybody we know. You yep. know it's, it's very few people who don't do no work and I and I feel the work and make it to the league. It's, it's You know what I'm saying? It's the Miles Garrett. I'm going to say he don't do no work, but – he just naturally gifted, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we we naturally gifted, bro, yeah. but to make it to that next level, you got to have an insane hunger for consistency, bro. Yeah. You know, and that's in everything. That's one thing that I teach to my sons, that I teach to my four-year-old now, bro. You want to be good, you got to do that shit over and over and yeah. over and over again, and that shit bleeds straight into business, too. Mm-hmm. On some, you know on some Marshawn Lynch type shit. Absolutely, fam. Because that's real when yeah. he said that. People was laughing at that shit. Nah, that shit and that true. shit hit me, boy. That shit true, bro. That shit hit me, one, but. One, one thing I would say about business, bro, is like, you know, what I learned, right? You know, especially as being, like, the leader in the company. Yeah. Right? You know, it's just like playing football, right? You know, yeah. football, like, I knew my gifts. I knew my skills. Yeah. You know, I run a big you know, we, we we got about 30 employees, like, but, and I'm not a physical therapist. I'm not a chiropractor. I'm not a trainer. I don't do any of that. Right. But one thing I do know is what I'm good at is finding other people. Yeah. It's just like on the football field. I mean, it's 10 other people with you. You yep. know what I mean? Yep. I was at safety, you know, that played in the box. And I knew what my role was by playing in the box as a safety. You right. know what I'm saying? Yep. Just like in business, I'm never going to step out of my role. But what I'm good at Delegate. is finding people that can – do roles that I can't do. Absolutely. I'm not going to sit on the computer and punch in numbers and stuff, even even, even though I had to do that last night for a long time. I did, <laughs> I did have to sit up last night. It's but, part of it. Yeah, but that's not what I'm usually going to do. But I can find somebody who can do that for You know what I mean? And that's a great point, bro, because ego kills a lot of, like, yeah. having that ego kills a lot of entrepreneurs, bro. Man. Thinking that you can overstep your boundaries. Yeah, and, and 100%. Man, come on, man. If you know you don't need to work finances, bro, go find somebody. Yeah, go find somebody who can do it. Exactly. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? Just delegate, bro. Understanding your weaknesses, man. Yep. And that's something, and that's something you learn as an athlete. You got to rely on that next person, bro. Absolutely. You have to. Especially on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, absolutely. Shit. Oh, you absolutely. But, but, uh, but no, I'll tell you, I mean, you start, you, so you restarting the Mesquite Football League, bro. Yes. So you restarting it, I mean, what – what happened, bro? Because, I mean, I ain't been down there in years. It was popping when we were kids. I mean, it, you know, it, what happened, bro? Like, you know, how how did you have to revamp it? So, so, two things. As far as the league itself, bro, we, um, we, the, the, oh, league, no, no, he, <laughs> yeah, y'all over baby, here, y'all baby right. sipping over there. Boy, <laughs> over there boy. <laughs> he babysitting. Y'all hogging the wine, boy. Bro, but, you, st- you still got a whole glass. 
Because I was like, I got to say this the way they drinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the truth. I was like, let me just sip on this the way they drinking. But no, bro, like, honestly, I brought it up, Tay. Mm. I brought it up because it's like, um, it was it COVID or was it the way the organization was ran? It was the way the organization was ran, bro. Like, okay, so as far as the league, so the league now that you know, it's a they split into two now. Okay. So it, it's called MD1, and then it's the league that we played in. So the, the MD1 is like for the competitive teams. You know what I'm saying? The other league is more developmental. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I thought was – was a mistake off rip. They ain't got participation trophies, do they? Nah, we don't thank do none the, of that. We thank God. Bro, what? You my daughter. So my daughter playing soccer, you know, in in the prosper and prosper. So uh, I mean, you need, I know how it is, but whatever. I'm coaching the team, and last year, um, they lost every game. They 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 literally lost every game. Tell me they got a trophy. And, oh, yeah, and they got no. medals. Oh no. 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 And my daughter didn't go to the little party thing that they had to have medals. I think we had something going on. Mm-hmm. I told the like I told the coach like, "Yo, we don't want that medal." No, nah, yeah. you know, Stand I told on that. I told him I told him straight up like, "We do not want that medal." Like, we, you team, don't want that memory. Stand, guys. No, hell no, no, hell no. You don't Stand want on that. that. Me- <laughs> and on that man, it's start them early. Shit. Yeah. So they so they divided in two in two. I mean, but you they divided in two leagues. But you are you head? Are you running it? Right so now? I'm the vice president for the Panthers. Me and guy who played with the Panthers. So you're the vice president of the whole league? No, nah, of the whole my organization. The organization. Yeah, my whole organization. Yeah, the whole organization. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm the vice president. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I coach flag. I'm mm-hmm. always coach with That's kids. Hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, so the people before us, bro, they were stealing money. What? Stealing money, bro. Like stealing the donations, stealing uh, when we fundraise, stealing the fees, like overcharging for fees and taking the over. What? Yeah, they was tweaking, bro. They was tweaking. And that's and that's when people get greedy, bro. Yeah, like it, it's a good cause. You see a little bit of profit, and then that's when you want to take it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like our president, man, uh, he younger than me. He played at Horn with us, um, and he got his own money, bro. He a good guy, fam. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't see him doing nothing like that. He come from a good parent, uh, good two parent household, bro. I know his parents. You know what I'm saying? So when he yeah. approached me with it, and I'm like, okay. I was kind of weary just because of the the reputation that the Panthers had at that point. Yeah, like we on, we, they didn't ran that shit into the ground, bro. Kind of really don't want to fuck with it. Mm-hmm. But he kind of appealed to me, bro. This your team. It's like you. They coming to you with, hey, start the Jags. It's your right. team, fam. Like All so, right. I'm like, okay, okay, bet, bet, bet. And so that's how it, that's how I posted. And how we doing it is we trying to create that NFL bowl game experience every week. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? That, that's our goal. We want to yep. create a bowl game experience every week. Give the kids something to look forward to. Mm-hmm. So when a kid be like, oh, we doing this shit in Pee Wee? That's how we thought. Oh, this Pee Wee live like this? Oh, I got to go to the next level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got to go to college. I got to see what it's hitting for. I got to go to the league. I got to see what it's hitting for. Yeah. And so that's the vibe that we on, bro. That's the vibe that we on. We got a mini camp coming up April 22nd. We got the Horn High School coaches out there. They going to coach the camp. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, so you tying gonna, everything in now. Everything in because yeah. we feeding yeah. the horn. So they're going to coach the camp. We're going to have a DJ. We got Rudy's Chicken coming out there. Man, that's dope. Yeah. It, and I love when the whole community eats, you yeah, know. Absolutely. And it's just like as long as everybody plays their role yeah, and do it for the right reasons. It's kind of like with everybody had a problem with Dion leaving Jackson State. Oh, I, well, I and, hated that shit. And most people don't probably know the details, but I heard a lot of rumors about him forking out a lot of his own cash. What's y'all take yeah. on that, though? What's your, what's your take on that? I would, uh, well, I would love to that's what I was about to say. It. He forked out a lot of his own cash for these facilities, knowing it would come back to him when he builds it up. Absolutely. And when it came back to him, the people at the top was taking more off the top. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yo. And I think that forced him out, bro, because he was doing a great cause. And what I think, I think Dion's doing exactly what Dion needs to do. Yeah. You ain't got to do it at a HBCU. You don't have to. No, nah, no, nah, but he was doing it for the culture, bro. He was doing it for the culture. He was doing it for and the then culture. some I feel like he got done wrong. Yeah. Just like Ed Reed. Ed, man. Just see, like, but see, Ed Reed wasn't going for that. You see that uh yeah, you see that uh oh, that I press seen that. Oh, yeah, man, I wasn't seen going it. For it. And, and you see two guys in in the same situation for real, and they handled it totally different. Ed Reed told the truth. Dion kept it like, look, I ain't gonna dog you out, you right. know what I'm saying? 
stuff like that. But right, man, he took yeah, the they, high they road. Did, they did, they did him wrong, man. They did him wrong, bro. And I really like what he's doing though, because I mean, he left ESPN, NFL Network. Yeah. He left, left for real. Yeah, he gone. Well, he probably, he probably had to now. As no, as, he left as because he joined Barstool. Because he, oh, I think Bar- he got a. I'm pretty sure he got a piece of the pie he because a bag. he ain't do the combine this year. He, he no. Yeah, he do the come he, Barstool gave him more of a, a variety. I mean, now he has so much access. He did. He does the pod. You know, he does the podcast. Mm-hmm. He has a crew filming everybody. Yeah. He's got the kids hashtags on their back. Yeah. Barstool gave him a bigger platform to do what he wanted to really do. Then his son, his son, he got his son over media over there too. And he Had doing him. his damn. He doing. He's doing his best shit. I ain't gonna lie. Junior. To you. He, yeah, he 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 even like shit. hyped him up with like this is the yeah. coldest son. Yeah, 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 yeah. He doing his best. And shit. I thought that was media, dope because yeah. okay, it ain't okay. football. Like yeah, he's like, yo, yeah. my son handling business. Yeah, like he, he on that, bro. That, on that bro. I think it's so dope with what he's doing in Colorado, bro. And seeing that video of him showing his mom. Yo, the facility, oh, silly, yeah, and she seen she seen it. He's like, "This is where you gonna that. be sitting." I ain't, even, I ain't even see that. Yeah. Oh, she was grateful, and she was like, "You know, she was." You could tell some tears about to come. She was like, "Yeah, I just thank God every day for giving me the giving me this raggedy son." You know, but it was just cool to <laughs> yeah. see them interact yeah. and really see how far they come. And I was he like, turning that program around too. I bet. Oh yeah, I know man. he will, man. He don't really, I ain't gonna lie to you. The bar not. I mean, it's high technically, but they what won one game last year. Did they? Yeah. yeah. They oh, won. so he ain't got. Yeah, the expectation. Yeah. He get to a bowl game. It's gonna be it. Yeah. like like Moses part of the Red Sea. Don't let him beat USC. Oh, oh my yeah. God. They got a they got a pretty tough schedule too though. First few yeah. games. I know they got to come I mean, across it's... TCU. Oh, that's for real? gonna be a good game. Yeah, that's early in the saying. season. I may be like third, fourth game of the season too. Man, I'm tuned in, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah, tuned. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, uh, but but did y'all uh, did y'all watch the fight this past weekend? I uh, you talking about Stevenson? Mm, oh, no, I saw talking, Stevenson. I was talking about Adesanya, Anderson. but Stevenson. Adesanya was dope. Yeah, nah, I didn't. Nah, uh, you, didn't you didn't watch Adesanya? Uh-uh. The UFC, UFC. fight. Oh, yeah. you, I'm thinking y'all talking boxing. My oh, no, nah, you good. Oh, we going to talk boxing. Okay, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. no, I watched the Adesanya fight. Stevenson, bro, I, I watched it, but it was honestly like. It was disappointing. Him and Anderson, the fight before him, it was disappointing, yeah. bro. Yeah. You no, know, it was. You know. I didn't even watch it. Yeah, it was. It wasn't, it. You ain't miss nothing, bro. Yeah. You didn't miss nothing, bro. But the UFC fight with Adesanya, it was dope because. Uh, bro, that this dude has knocked out of sign out three times before that. Yeah. yeah, twice in kickboxing, and then they gave him a title shot, and he beat him in front of the world. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And, and so when uh, you know, when he when he knocked him out, first of all, nobody expected him to knock him out. When he knocked him out, that shit was the dopest, bro. It was the dopest knock. I didn't even ever. see it. It was, it was crazy. Well, because I mean, Duh. he was playing like he said he was playing possum. Like he was playing like he was getting beat up, and then bro was just unleashing on him, mm. and then he just randomly. Hit him with a jab. Came oh, he right came with a strong flushed, hook. Came but with it, a strong hook and yeah. knocked, him, knocked him out. You know, it hit him hit him like three times, knocked him out. It was the bro, it was the wildest thing. And then his celebration was the coldest. Yeah. Was the coldest celebration. Stood over top. Like, you know, and it was a lot of controversy because people was talking about the woman's basketball. Yeah. And comparing that to the woman's basketball. And I'm like, no, it's completely different. Like, I seen your take on Twitter. You said bad take. Bro, that was like, a horrible yeah, take. Yeah, yeah. The dude was basically saying, like, he stood over top of him and was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like basically shooting him with the arrow. Well, he, <laughs> he shot him three times because of the three L's he, he took. Oh, that's gangster. He went yeah. to his son because uh, one of the kickboxing ones, his son, like, young, like, probably, like, seven years old. Yeah. His son, like, Basically, like, fell like he got. Oh, that's out. gangster. Oh, so he pointed yeah, at his uh, son and, <laughs> <laughs> and he fell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's live, though. Yo. It was the dopest, bro. It was the dopest thing that I ever seen, bro. He's that's my live. favorite fighter now, bro. Yeah. Oh, God. Like, I honestly, I, I respect his career. And I, you know, I was getting, I just got in the UFC a couple years back, you know. So but his message after was, uh, it was a dopest. So I his think message that's after. What I seen. You seen his you message? message? I seen the his, message. Yeah, his I message was basically was, saying like, "Go for it." Like, like yeah. if you don't go for what you want, you ain't gonna you know, feel this type of joy I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that yeah, shit was hard shit as was fuck. Dope. Yeah, so I that seen that dope. part. Damn, that, that was, was hard as fuck. But you know, it just it just kind of like I brought it up because it was like uh, sometimes you feel defeated, bro. Yeah. Everybody counted him out, and in that talk, he said, "I had to go to places I had never been." Yeah. He had, you know, he had to go train like he's never trained. Right. When you had somebody beat you three times, right. you know, and then everybody watching you again, and to knock him out, bro, that comeback crazy, man. And the cele- the celebration was just too smooth. 
I mean, it was like he expected everything. The he way he just stood was, over man. him, then went to his son. It's like, you got to fucking premeditate yeah, shit, yeah, shit like that. Oh, I wish I would have seen this. And, oh. and Trump was in that bit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, ain't he supposed to be in jail, on bro? On trial. My dog on trial. I thought my dog had 137 years. <laughs> he was front row oh, with Joe Rogan. God. Sitting there, Joe Burrow his, and all that. I seen, I seen a TikTok. It was, oh. They were like, that's the blackest shit, that, blackest shit I ever seen. <laughs> you got an indictment looming your ass. And a fight, but Frank Lucas, Frank Lucas, <laughs> <laughs> bro. And honestly, bro, honestly, he he he's probably not gonna go to jail, bro. Nah, yeah, man. Nah, he's probably, he probably won't, man. bro. He's probably not, bro. This he shit boosted been. his celebrity status. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, bro. He oh, did. No, he loving that shit he right now. No, he did. He, he, loving he, that shit, he just shit, tweeted bro. World War Three. I think today. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, he got niggas uneasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he got people. Uneasy. Well, things is uneasy though. Yeah, fam. That's Damn, why, why Bitcoin just went up. Man, bro. They say what? We going to lose a dollar? Well, people starting to trade without our currency and shit now. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's kind of getting. What? Saudi Arabia, Iran. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's big. China, Russia, of course. Africa. Yeah. You're yeah. going to make that switch. Like, yep. yes. That's going to be Man, I talked, about this. I talked about this in the last podcast, but it's a book called Changing World Order by Ray Dalio. Mm-hmm. Everybody should watch it because it was so dope. Cause it's an audio book? You can probably find it. Uh, Yo ass. You said watch it, boy. (laughs) You said watch it. Like, we gonna watch it? It's an audio book? All right. (laughs) But you can... I do. I listen. I do. I'm a a good listener. You can do it while you're doing something. You can. Easy. You can. But... Easy. I mean, that bitch, like, 650 pages, whatever. But it's very, very, like, it's very detailed. You know what I'm saying? But it talks about that. It talks about how everything that we went through, 2020, even before that, with... uh, with the Kaepernick and all that stuff, like yeah. he talks about how we're basically in like a civil war. And when this stuff like this happens and then like the outbreaks of COVID and stuff like that, it's a sign that like we own this long term cycle. Yeah. And we're on the downhill of it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So yeah. he was saying like it's like seven stages. During that book, he was saying we in stage six right now. Mm. And now like you see in the seventh stage of people like leaving the dollars, it bro, it's so crazy that this dude I'm I'm I mean he's Worth like 140 billion dollars though, yeah, so yeah, or 40 sure. billion. Yeah, he's worth like a crazy. When you money. worth that much, I mean, you got some, are you he got bored? Insight. He got some. He got I some insight. Share, yeah. But are you bored in life, bro? No, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah but, you know, but, you like conquer life, bro. Like, but it's like I don't know. It's like the people that's really worth that much. Yeah, they got like some a, shit to say, man. Yeah, and it's like no, a game sure. to them, bro. Like, yeah, like, it like it it's not even about the money. It's about is it, bro? It's a game. Like, okay, how can I keep? Making more is again, bro. Jerry, bro, he's still out doing shit. <laughs> Jerry, he's still out doing Jerry, shit. Jerry, man, I just want to go borrow the yacht when I'm in Miami. You know what I'm saying? That's all I want to do, bro. But uh, but no, honestly, bro, Tay, man, it's I'm I'm glad you came on today, bro. It was dope. Man. It was dope, man. It's been a, it's been an honor, bro. It's okay. been an honor, bro. Especially especially seeing you come up off the field, like when you walked away after year four, uh. I was like, damn, bro. Like, he he, he confident. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit was dope. Because you really didn't have dope. to. I honestly just feel like you was just like, you was just like, yo, I'm tired of this shit. Yeah. Because I, I fell out of love with the game, yeah. too. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep going because it was just instilled in me just to keep going. Right, right, but then right, I got right. to a point to where it's like, wow, I'm really, like, uh, I'm really treating this like a job. I Football is just like, you know, yeah, catching the ball. Either, like, yeah, I started yeah. thinking about everything. I yeah. wasn't having fun, bro. And so I really looked up to that, that you and did I that. I appreciate that, bro. That means a lot coming from y'all. Man. For real, no, bro. For real, bro. Talk, for that means a lot coming for real, from y'all. Because, I mean, like, we we talk about a lot on here and how tough the transition is, Yeah, you know. And obviously you had, you know, a father figure that was guiding you the whole time. Yeah. But, like, still, like, that shit still don't negate the fact that you actually had to overcome that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's bro, it's a challenge. Yeah, and then it you is. got a family and stuff like that. You know, I completely understand how that is. Yeah, how you yeah. got to go get it. You know, you got to go get it a different way. Absolutely. We play bro. ball for so long, and people don't understand. Like, people see us as a football player. Like, yeah. they see us. Like, they don't really know who we is, and we, we so don't even more, know who bro. we is. Yeah. We so much more, bro. That shit don't define us, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's so much. And my, my pops told me this shit early, bro. Like, you going to play football till maybe you 30, 35 if you lucky, bro. Mm-hmm. The average human lives 70 years, bro. You got 40 more years. And what you think you're going to be, even if you even if you made $100 million, Man. you're going to be 
bored if bored you, hell, you're gonna be like, working through your forties. You gotta have a purpose. Through bro. Your, you're gonna be doing something. Mm-hmm. You gotta have a purpose. You gotta bro. have a purpose. Whether it, it might not even be for money, like you know exactly, what I'm saying? Bro. But you just gotta have a purpose, bro. Like you gotta wake up and want something to work forward to. You know what I'm yep. saying? So, and as we get older, man, honestly, uh, <laughs> especially being exposed to uh, money early, yeah. You really realize that, like, bro, honestly, I remember my rookie year, bro. I got my own crib. You know, I got everything going for me. Yeah, I'm playing for the Cowboys. Everybody hype. Bro, I felt lonely as hell. Oh, God. I felt lonely as hell. And I really had to realize why I felt so empty inside. Like, I had all this. Everybody thought, oh, you busy doing that, busy doing. Now everybody thinks you busy, too. And it's like, I was busy. But, bro, when I come home at night, about 6 o'clock, just me. Just you. Mm-hmm. Chilling, hop on a game, kick it. Hop on the game, and then you just you know reap. You know, yeah. Uh, ah, bro, I I really like uh, the lifestyle is really important. So like, you know, my kid make it, your kid make it, it your kid make it. It's like we got to teach him about. Uh, Nigga, I got three uh, girls, huh? Man, <laughs> hey, listen, you gonna look, you gonna have a son man, too, bro. Hey, hope, hey, 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 and they might they go. So I make it to the league. Women's yeah. sports, yeah. hey, women's sports yeah. change. Women's sports on the turn up though. Is it is it is it, it's on the come up. That LSU game got me. Lit, I ain't, they got yeah. me tuned in. That, no, that for she, real. Yeah, that, that, that was a and she ain't leaving. She making three hundred racks a year. Oh, Why shit. would she leave? Uh, I exactly. Wouldn't. She. I wouldn't. She, she got three more years. She, she should just turn her ankle. Uh, the last game just to get that extra year of eligibility, boy. I would. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they coaches was like that back in the day. You seen that? No, yeah. I didn't even know that. They was, didn't she know was that. a nice little point guard for what Louisiana Tech. I she, think. She, yeah. she she dressed like it. She, she, yeah, she yeah, she's swaggy. She got I some black like, God damn. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, she definitely got swag. And you know what? But at first, I didn't know how I felt about it. I was like, damn, she. She's she all about tig- her tiger stripes with. Sequence and shit. I didn't when I seen the picture of her playing, I understood how deep that shit was to yeah. her. Coming yeah. from Louisiana. Yeah. And I thought different then. I was like, damn, why she wearing all this? Like it's about, you know what I'm saying? And so she won a national championship playing too. So Yeah. yeah. But no, nah, bro. Uh man, it was a pleasure, bro. Really it was did. a pleasure. I appreciate you coming on, dog. Uh we gotta make a camp happen in Mesquite for Absolutely, real. Absolutely, bro. Jags and Panthers, we reunite. I'm down. Let's do it, bro. We in it. Let's do it, bro. And we gonna run this back after you open up your uh, your uh, restaurant. And I would love for y'all to come do this at my restaurant. Oh my god! Yeah, say I, less, bro. I would love for you to come do it, bro. 100%. Say less, bro. Real talk. As long as we get a free meal. Absolutely. Yeah, I, got <laughs> some, I, got some, I got some. I got some. crown for you too. Oh come on, man. That's love, bro. That's love, man. Tell everybody where they can follow you. Social media, your restaurant. I mean, let them know. Uh yeah, so my restaurant uh name Wing City Sports. Uh, it's in Mesquite, 4331 Gus Thomason Drive in Mesquite, man. Y'all come check us out right over there by Town East Boulevard. Uh, my gym is 423 Singleton Boulevard in Trinity Groves. Uh, it's going to be a big building right next to the Trinity Shops. You won't miss it. Uh, we offer everything. Uh, my Instagram is official underscore DH10. I don't really post too much on there. I'm a family man. You know what I'm saying? Hey. So if you want to see some beautiful kids, follow me. Yes, sir. Uh, but... Pretty much that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm new to TikTok, man. I'm, I'm kind of showing my age. Oh, man. Yeah. Hopefully it don't get banned. But. Man, I hope it get banned. Because it's banned. <laughs> boy, I be, man, I would be up 2, 3 in the morning. Bro, just looking at recipes, all type of bullshit. Taught my girl how to cook, so credit yeah, TikTok. Yeah, for real. Yeah, man, <laughs> credit like, TikTok. Some garlic steak bites I made like two days ago off TikTok. <laughs> like, hey, post that on the gram. Man, I got you. I got you. I got heat, too. I be <laughs> on that grill now. I be on that grill, bro. Say less. So, uh, yeah, man, y'all come follow me, bro. Uh, It's going to be number good vibes, man. And, and I thank y'all for having me, bro. Man, man I appreciate you, bro. It's man. an honor to be here. Man. Hey, you just did it the best, bro. I can, I, I can tell you entertaining because you just killed that. Oh, man, I You killed that you. outro. Man, I, yeah. I, I it, man. I'm trying to be like you when I go. Oh, chill out, bro. <laughs> chill out, man. Once again, bro, it was a pleasure. Until next time, my dog. Man, yes, sir. Right, y'all.